Okay, so we're checking out the uh, Volador frames from Flyfish RC and also their new motors, silver and black. I'll show you that here shortly. Uh, built the Dead Cat version, so they're calling the Dead Cat version the VD5, and the, I guess, the Squish Dex version, they're calling this the VX5. And uh, they come in two different uh, colors of TPU, they have the black. Uh, TPU, which is what you see here, and then in the the other version is like a tropical color. So the other t TPU color is this green blue. They're calling it a tropical, and you can see here that it's, uh, I pretty much have all the parts on here. Um, there's a video, actually a really good video. It's about ten minutes long that explains how to build this. Uh, I'm not going to go over that because you can just watch that video. I'll link that in the description of this video if you want to check it out. There are actually some leftover pieces here, some spare parts. I got some few standoffs here. You got these longer screws for your stack, which I didn't install yet. Uh, you get the wrench for the GoPro mount here for this little piece, or actually this piece over here. And it's the 3D part for, part for the GoPro mount. Uh, nice, interesting battery pad here. They give you two different lengths of uh, battery straps, I guess. One for the main section here in the middle, and then a, a, a smaller one here in the back. Obviously, you probably want two. Got this sort of unique in uh, sort of in-frame XT60 here. That's in this part here. I did not solder on any wires to that yet. Overall, the the kit when when you get out of the box, it all the little screws and stuff. They come in nicely labeled baggies. The type of screw and the length and the stuff. It's really hard to not know what to use if you follow the video instructions and then they have a complete explosion diagram included with both uh, with all of the different parts labeled so it's fairly straightforward uh, if you've built any sort of a frame before this is not going to be um, all that different so this is a pretty hefty frame i'll just go ahead and show you the weight right off the bat here um, i'm going to put the battery straps on here uh, as well as the uh, motor screws. So these are the, uh, I think these are 10 millimeter long screws, or 16 of them for the motors that are the exact length you need for the uh, thickness of the carbon plate or the, ar the arm and the uh, TPU part. So they include those. Altogether, it's coming in at a little over 230 grams. So for those of you guys that like tank frames, I think this qualifies as a tank frame. You have these super thick six millimeter arms. Typically a five inch frame will have five millimeter arms. You have uh, the sandwich plates are three millimeters thick each. So this uh, this one here, three millimeters thick. And then this one over here and then the bottom is three millimeters thick as well. And then you have a two and a half millimeter top plate. And of course, so those of you that are true tank frame fans, I know you're gonna be sorely disappointed that these only have six millimeter arms and not 10 millimeter arms but unfortunately you do have to save some weight somewhere. Now, interestingly, the way that the arms are chamfered in here, so it's tapered for one, so a little bit thinner here, a little bit thicker uh, at the base, and then you have this taper, or the way it's chamfered, so it's like shaped, where they have a the little bulge here in the middle, but it's also uh, chamfered on both sides, so it's a little hard to come on camera. This is a definitely a design element. I don't think it's necessarily there for any increase in strength but it does it does give it a kind of unique look and of course the carbon is very clean cut uh, there's no dust or anything like that um yeah overall the, the the carbon on this uh particular frame is top quality now they're saying that this uh front for a cage here is a cnc aluminum uh that screw hole in the very front there will work with an o3 uh, air unit camera it's about a millimeter uh, from the front or that, that hole to the front. So yeah, they, they do claim that this will work with your O3 air units and it's 20 millimeters across here to fit that camera. And uh, the they do include these little spacers here. You have to stick onto the inside if, you have, if you're using 19 millimeter uh, cameras to take up that slack. But yeah, it's uh, obviously uh, pretty strong front cage here, CNC aluminum, uh, lots of mounting options there for different size cameras and different lens lengths. And then in terms of 
where the prop is. It's going to be hard to know exactly if there's going to be props in view in your ultra wide recorded uh, video on the O3 air unit. It's going to be close. Obviously, I won't know until I actually build it, but if anyone has the dead cat version of this and the O3 air unit, and you have to know if the props show up in your video, let me know in the comments below. Something worth noting is that the dead cat version comes with this little GPS part here in the back, which you can adjust your angle here on this little standoff. Uh, the squish decks version does not come with this little GPS part in the back. It's just another quick look at the bottom here. You have these nice um, arm bumpers and landing feet, so you don't land on the screws. Got your flyfish branding there, a little plastic piece insert on the bottom plate. And uh, they do have this um, one screw, I think, you, uh, removable system where I believe it is, yeah, just this one screw here, and then you should be able to slide the arm out um, and not have to disassemble a stack. So that's pretty common on the more modern frames, so this one incorporates that as well. Here's a look at the two motors. So they both come in uh, 2207 uh, or 2306 sizes. And uh, the 2306 is 1750 kV, the 2207 is 1850 kV. So I think you can get the, the motor sizes in either color, black or silver. And I think this is like a gray and purple color is what they're calling this. Uh, the black paint is like a glossy paint and then the Gray is like a matte finish. I don't know. They look pretty, both look pretty good. I think the gray purple color looks is a little bit more to my liking in terms of just aesthetics. But the motor construction here, quite uh, typical of a lot of uh, motors that have come out recently in terms of at least, at least high quality motors. You know, uh, bearings are smooth. You have these. Very this nice gap there between the magnets and the stator. It's very tight. Uh, high quality windings. So, and of course you got little elements here like this little wire uh, protector so it doesn't rub against the bell. Stuff like that. Plenty of motor wire. So, not exactly sure when I'm going to be building this. I'm probably going to go. I'll probably go with the silver one here with the gray color. And this one, or I don't know. The all black, black on black always looks good too. Well, let's see. I, I might change my mind several times between now and then, but I think that's going to cover it for this video. Um, again, I have a bunch of those antennas that I mentioned before in the previous video. Um, you'll see those in here and there from various videos, so keep an eye out on those. If you have a particular one that you're interested in, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, this will do it for this one. I'll have another video later once I've built this one out. Obviously, you just have to find a stack. I'm probably gonna go, probably gonna go with a Vista on this one, not an O3 air unit, um, and go with the GoPro because it, I don't really need the O3 air unit recording because I can just use a GoPro with a nice big five inch motor. So that's where we'll probably go with this one. And then I'll just probably put some sort of stack and maybe probably put the uh, new Speedy B stack in there. So it should be, Fairly simple build, but again, not sure if I'm going to be good to it before the end of the year. Probably it'll come out sometime in January. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Talk to you guys in the next one.